And as folks here in Connecticut try to understand what's happening in Afghanistan, a local group that aids refugees says it is ready to help. News 12 Connecticut Suzanne Goldklang joined us from outside the community center where that group operates uh, over on Fairfield Avenue in Bridgeport. Suzanne. Good evening. Yes, this community center is just one of the places that Siri or the Connecticut Institute for Refugees and Immigrants tries to help people who are starting a new life. The group says it expects to get busier as the number of refugees allowed into the United States from countries such as Afghanistan increases. The real stories are going to be uh, the stories of the terror that will be committed by the Taliban and the population. The situation in Afghanistan is painful to watch. This is war. This is something similar to what happened in Vietnam. Stories of hardship only beginning. The horrors that the Taliban are likely to bring in to them is what drives them and their parents to chase those planes at risk of their own lives. A wave of people is on the move. We're just sitting here waiting uh, and ready to receive those refugees from Afghanistan should they come. Some could end up in Bridgeport. Most of the refugees that we resettle, we resettle to Bridgeport because we have access to just an incredible amount of resources there. Afghanistan is only one of several emergencies leaders at the Connecticut Institute for Refugees and Immigrants are preparing for. The types of trauma that people have survived varies drastically. Um, and I think what we're seeing with, for example, somebody from the Democratic Republic of Congo um, is going to be different than what we're seeing from uh, Afghani refugees. Leaders of the organization say they do hope that the situation causes people to refocus on the plight of refugees. They have volunteers. People donate things like toiletries. They, of course, raise money, and their big event is coming up next month. In Bridgeport, Suzanne Goldklang, News 12 Connecticut.